Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fire Emblem Unpromoted Challenge here on the Silver Rooster. I already started this chapter a little bit as you know from the last episode because I, I guess I just kind of forgot that I already did one. But uh, I took a little break because my voice was starting to get tired and I think that's what was uh, really causing me to mispronounce so many names and other words people were saying and I wasn't just reading properly so we'll, we'll, hopefully that's all fixed now my voice was just getting tired that's my excuse that's what I'm blaming it on this is the fir this is the first trigger two more to find yeah it's right in there and uh, right behind this guy I uh, guess you're stopping here Florina I want to move dork actually you know what we'll move Dorcas up then we'll have will take out this guy and then Irk, take out the one below. Oh my god, Irk. Will, what have you done to me? My tactics! Okay, Irk, you've got this. Ah oh, man. I think you miss a lot more in hard mode because that had like an 84% chance of hitting. Okay, where is your range? Okay, range. You can make it to this village and not be attacked by that guy. I like this guy's mustache. We can't do business with all the fighting in town. You're mercenaries, right? Can't you do something? Huh? You can't get the barracks open? I bet a thief with a set of picks could open any door you need. Well, we got that solved. Hold on, I may have something here for you. Here it is, this is it. One door key. Door keys can only be used once, but anyone can use them. Here, no charge. Now go get those slugs, will you? That's very weird, like, I can bring this door into a chapter that I could, like, bring this door key into two levels later, and it will still work on any door in it, if there's a door to use it on. It's really weird. Shops sell these things. Are these just magic keys that they sell? There's also chest keys. I don't, I don't get it. And why can it only be used once? Okay, well, okay, Florina can't reach him, so that's a shame. Oh, well, maybe he'll... Oh, wait. That's right, the javelin. I can save this. Good work. Man, good thing I bought those javelins. Alright, that's everyone. Alright, who's over here? Dorcas will take care of that guy with the X. Meanwhile, you'll open this chest. Angelic robe. Okay, if this were easy mode, Matthew would explain Angelic Robe to me. It's an item that uses once that e increases the maximum HP of any unit by 7. So, I'm going to be honestly holding on to that for a while until I decide who I'm going to use it on. Usually I have a good idea of who I'm going to use it on when I start playing, but like I never play the same way twice. I train different units every time. The problem is, I think I might have... Irk finish you off just for experience. The problem is, this time, I, uh, I'm not gonna have anyone go through class changes, because I'm doing a challenge, so I have no idea who I'm gonna end up using, because I have no idea who's gonna continue to be good or who's gonna start slowing down. The captain of the Marquise's Guard is a fellow named Wrath. Yes, I've met him. I've heard tell that he's a nomad from the plains of Sakea. Odd, considering how the Marquis so obviously hates the Nomads, he's very racist. I guess the Marquis is pleased to have a Nomad under his control. The way of the aristocrats are beyond my comprehension. You got that right, I have the same problem. Okay, what do we got? Uh, Lin... I'd like to have you go... I'd like to have Lin grow one level in every chapter, so... Since you begin level 7, I guess you don't really need one. He can be such a good unit if you can level him up. He gains experience so slowly, though. It's his only weakness. Alright, these soldiers here won't be a problem to take out, so... Uh, you'll follow behind him so you can unlock that door. Lin will start moving in there. These guys use lances, so Dorcas can be good against them, get some experience in this chapter. I'll just have you visit the rest of the homes. You look a lot like Dorcas's wife to me. The Marquis of Erefen's hatred for the people of Sakea is well known. You know, that's not very nice to say to the captain of the Marquis. <laughs> Nomads are barred... Oh, sorry. 
Nomads are barred entrance to the city on the Marquise's orders. He says he will not allow the Nomad's stench to infect his city. You are talking to a Nomad here. Long ago, the Marquise was in love with Marquise Callan's daughter. It said she spurned him in favor of a nomadic prince. That actually did happen. Even so, I think the Marquise goes too far in his treatment of the horseman. That is also very true. He's a racist. I guess... Did you already... You already visited that place. Who, you have a key now? Good. Okay. Finish this guy off. Good. You can do it. Soldiers are often really slow and low on defense for some reason. They actually were never a playable unit until Fire Emblem Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Oh, another one. I kind of want Urk to take you out, too. Alright, uh... I don't know, I guess we'll bring you up here. Just in case. That guy's gonna move out. Yep, I thought he'd go for Urk. Yeah! Good job, Urk! Did you see that master dodge? My tactics, man. They make you strong. Alright, come on, random number generator. Be my friend like you have been. Okay, you know what? Those are the two stats that I think I want to go up the least, honestly. <laughs> I would have preferred more magic. Mm, so what's your weapon of choice? Swords, lances, spears? Or do you favor bows or magic? Or even staves? Whatever it may be, the more you use it, the more skilled you become. I already explained this to everyone. You're so late, old man. I, I This was like two chapters ago. Swinging a sword about will allow you to master it. Eventually, you will be able to wield weapons of greater power. Hmm. <clears throat> it's said that the, it's as they say, practice makes perfect. You can check your skill level by pressing the R button. I've I've been doing that. It's right here. <laughs> You're so late to the punch, old man. All right, hit him with your axe, Dork. I could have just attacked from afar. Oh my God, Dorcas! Getting fancy with your criticals. That looked brutal. Oh, I don't think he deserved that much. Wow. All right, Dorcas. Whatever, however you do. I'm liking this guy more and more. And he got a door key from it. Alright, I don't have to maze uh, Matthew's lockpick. Okay, we'll send Florina. I don't remember what's in this door up here. But... Let's, uh, get you to step on the switch right here. I guess that was the second trigger? How's this trigger thing work? That leaves one more. Seriously, like, this must really confuse anyone. Okay, well... Do you have a long-range weapon? Okay, no. Okay, so let's take out this archer. What do we got going on here? Alright, well, I might just have to use the monocotti because I don't want this archer to attack anyone. Alright, Lynn, finish him off. Okay, that was unnecessary. I never get the criticals when I need them. I'm all, I'm really sur- Okay, she got the level up, so Dorcas might just finish off the boss here. Alright, I'll take it. I'm certain that the Monokani's usage will restore after Chapter 10. Okay, so if that's the final trigger, what's in there? I'll have you stand here, Dorcas will use the key, and then you'll head in. Let's see what we got going on here. Alright, just one last chest, what do we got? An Armor Slayer! A sword that's effective against knights. So, armored units, pretty much. Alright, so we'll just have Dorcas finish him off, though, because he's got an axe. He can... Oh, you know what? Can Dorcas really harm the guy? Knights have a lot of defense. Yeah, Dorcas can do some damage. Bah! Lindis and her... Kador. I don't know what the word is. I'm sorry. When did you arrive? No matter. I shall deal with you. What happened to the slicked back guy? Fool? My god, Dorcas, you just got two criticals in a row. Okay, that's right. I never looked at the guy. <laughs> One of Lord Ludgren's assassins set to kill Lin. That is... That is not how you name your kids, people. Bool. Look at this guy. Okay. Well, you know what? We're just gonna continue. That, that, look at that. That's not how you name your kids. That's almost as bad as Glass. You guys remember Glass? He was very fragile. 
Okay. Well, Dorcas can easily take him. This is this is gonna. My God, Dorcas, you murdered. But you only attacked two people in this chapter. In this chapter, and you ruined them both. I'm sorry. My voice is still a little tired. Yeah, Lord Ludgren. My God, Bool. <laughs> you got destroyed. Ah, Dorcas, I might be using you the whole game now. My god, that was brutal! You're a beast, Dorcas! You're a man among men! So this is the final one. We should be good to go. I hope I visited every village, I don't remember. Here it is, Stefan, the hidden passageway. Good work. We'll let Wrath take over from here. I mean, he didn't really do anything. So yeah, I guess he's full of energy. Ah, it's Wrath! You've done well. What a performance. Sir, I... If you have praise, it should be given to this group. Hmm, who are you? My name is Lindis. I'm pleased you're well. Oh, it's you! The, your Marquis Callens. Leave us, Wrath. I would speak to this girl... With this girl. Now, Lady Lindis, I'll try to take this slow, because, like, I'm starting to make mistakes in reading now. <clears throat> Do you know the identity of those responsible for this uproar? I believe it to be the work of my granduncle, Ludgren. That's exactly right, which means my castle has been damaged in your family's petty inheritance dispute. My, my apologies, this guy's just... A jerk. When I heard that Lady Madeline's daughter was in trouble, I thought to lend my assistance. I find I've changed my mind. I withdraw my offer. It's because she's Sakaian. Marquis Arafen, you gave me your word, my lord. Your name is Kent, is it not? You failed to inform me of the one most vital detail. What? What do you mean? This girl does resemble Lady Madeline, but... I didn't expect to see her so tainted with the blood of Sakaya. This guy's a racist old man. What? I'd be pissed, too. I mean, what were you expecting? You loved her mom from that that villager told us you that you were in love with Lady Madeline, and then she chose the Sakaian over you, and I would do the same. You're not very pleasant looking. Don't you feel the Marquis of Kalin would be troubled to meet this nomadic mongrel? You I'd be pissed too. No no no, let Sane go, Kent. This like no, let him go. I forgot to read that. Hmm. Your man is poorly disciplined. Marquis Seraphin. Please, if you would grace us with your aid. There's no point in asking anymore, Kent. You should just be like, screw you, I'm out of here. I hear Marquis Callan is ill and abed. I question whether he will survive to meet this girl. In which case, his brother Ludgren will claim his title. And I certainly wish to avoid trouble with the coming Marquis. You scheming... Insane. No, let him talk. Come on. What's this guy gonna do? I understood. I understand, Kent. Sane. If we take our leave at once, Milady Lindis, we. I am proud of the Sakaya blood that runs through my veins. I will not accept aid from one who disparages my heritage. I agree completely. I completely support that choice. That was when. D that was well done, my lady. The Marquise is a lout. I don't really know what lout means. I guess I, I like. I know what it means, but I. I've never really used it. But yeah, that's. I agree with it. I've never used it to anyone or any sentence I've ever said in my life. But oh well. Don't worry about anything. We're here, all here for you. Isn't that so, Kent? I beg your forgiveness. Why are you apologizing, Kent? I've been so concerned with seeing you to Kalin, I failed to take your feelings into account. Is that it? Trouble yourself no more. You have put my safety above all else. I have seen that. Hold your head up and be proud. Milady Lindus. Bah! Arrogant child. If she had but shed a single tear, 
I would have granted her request. This guy's... I, man, you are just the worst. We Lycian nobles will never understand those prideful savages. Hmm? Are those your true feelings towards the nomads of the Sakaia, my lord? What? Oh, Wrath, I didn't see you there. Well, good way to lose the captain of your, your entire kingdom. My comments do not reflect on you. You are my captain. I am proud of your service. Oh, of course, as long as we bend our knee to you, you care not where we're from. But when all equal comes from my land, what conceit? Okay, but when an equal comes from my lands, what conceit? Wrath, how can you speak to me like that? Because I quit, that's why. I thought it was obvious. I have treated you well, have I not? I have paid you well. I have treated you better than your kind deserves. My god. Will you never, you will never understand. My service ends here. My god, that guy's, mm. We're never gonna see him again, but still, like... The Marquis of Arafen. He said my grandfather was ill. We must hurry to Kalin. As we approach Kalin, Ludgren's obstacles will be more difficult to overcome. However, I vowed to see you through to the end, milady. I'm counting on you, Kent. I'm with you, too! Thank you, Saint. Does everyone speak? Okay. Stefan? Thank you for always standing at my side. It's because of all of you that I... I will persevere. They will never break my spirit. I'm starting to think that I can't come up with an original voice for everyone because so many people are in this game. Wrath? What is it? What are you... I overheard the Marquis talking to himself. Lynn of the Lorca, proud daughter of the Sakea. I would join you. I would add my strength to yours. Well, don't would do it, just do it. <laughs> really? And this, I want you to take it. This is gold. It's too much. I can't accept it. No, take it. We need some. I spent all our money on javelins. I need... I have no need for it. And if it will help you. But... I cannot take back something once offered. Wrath, I thank you. You know, that can... You just kind of pushed that. I'm glad it's gold, but, like, I don't know how I feel about that motto you have there. Lynn takes her leave of Alfred, finding no aid from its spiteful Marquise. Now she and her companions resume their march toward Kalin in earnest, racing against time with her grandfather's life the prize. Harried and impatient, Lynn presses onward. Suddenly, a young boy appears and pleads for their assistance. Ah, this chapter. Here we go. Siblings abroad. Abroad. Sorry, I can't read right now. Oh. Please, somebody, somebody help me. That's enough. Get out. I want none of your trouble. But sir, why? You were so kind yesterday. I thought you would... You were just two kids, a couple of traveling perform performers. If those men are chasing you, you must be up to no good. Now get up, and get out. You're a plague on decent folk. Jeez, oh, that's a little too harsh. But... <laughs> what a mess. Hmm? Ah, yes, the monk. What have we got? Where are we, Kent? This is Catholic. If we head due south, we'll pass into Kalin. From here, I'd say we're about ten days' ride. But only me and Kent have horses, so... To Kalin, to Castle Kalin. Actually, Rath has one, too. Assuming we don't run into any delays, of course. We will. Knowing us. We're a pretty ragtag group. Ten days? Something always happens to us. Pardon me, but... Yes, can I help you? You and your friends, are you mercenaries? And if we are? I need your help. He's a boy. By the way, I'm trying to sound, I kind of sound like a girl, but he's young. Milady Lindis? You mustn't let your guard down, not even for a child. I know. Forgive me, but we're in a hurry. Is there someone else you can ask? There's no time. 
Ninian's been... It's my sister. Some men have taken her away. Your sister? Did you say your sister's been accosted? You know, I'd react the same way Sane did, probably. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'll go help a lady. Oh, I forgot to read. Cruel, awful men. I don't know what I'll do without Ninian. Milady Lindis, we must help him. Nonsense, we haven't the time. Oh, come on, can't. I'm this tactician here. If the Marquise is as ill as we've been as we've heard, we must proceed. Kent, I want to help this child. Milady, I'm worried about my grandfather, of course. But this, I cannot stand by and let a child be taken from her home. I see. I'm sorry, Kent. I am your loyal retainer. I, you owe me no apologies. You must do as your heart di dictates, Milady. I will follow you, follow you, no matter where you, that may lead. Thank you. Ah, such a noble speech. Even the true knight. Ever the true knight, that one. Ah, well, you're in luck, laddie. Let's go get your sister. Will you lead us to the men who've done this? Uh-huh. They're really tough, so be careful. Leave them to us. We're pretty tough ourselves, right, Stefan? Oh, yes. No one can stand to my tactics. Oh, yeah, we fight a dark... Uh, a shaman in this one. Ah, uh, oh no! <laughs> Found him. Come on, it's back to Nurgle with you. Quiet now. No, let Ninian go! We ain't supposed to kill you, but we sure can rough you up. Get him! Ready? Here it comes. Oh no, it's Lin. Who blocks him? Huh? Who do you think you are? Lin! Let the boy's sister go. Ah, so you want to help the kid, huh? What a shame. You're going to die for something that don't concern you. You think so, do you? Do we look so meek to you? I think you're in for a terrible shock. Stupid girl. You'll regret those words. Take them down, boys. Oh, I get to pick units for this one. Okay, uh... Well, let's see what we'll deal in with uh, now first, just so I can properly pick who I'm going to use. Okay, the boss here is a shaman. <laughs> I can't, I can't read this name. Hold on. Uh, Haints? Haints? One of the Black Fang pursues Nils ruthlessly. All right, well, that's who we're fighting next time. I really can't read that. Maybe I'll figure it out by the next episode. Hope you enjoy this, and I will see you guys next time.